Uh, I think that the I've said for some time, including under the previous administration of Tehran, that the, this nuclear deal was dead, and it was just a question of uh, the blame game and the US trying to pretend that it was not responsible for tearing up the agreement in 2018. But I think the important message, I think, from Lloyd Austin's uh, comments in Bahrain are uh, that he is trying to reassure a lot of anxious collaborators in the region, um, including those that have naval bases and air bases in the Persian Gulf, and of course the Israelis and the separatist Kurds in northeastern Syria, that uh, the US is not going to abandon them. There's a lot of anxiety across the region because, of course, after the withdrawal of the US from Afghanistan and the scenes there and the commitment of the US to withdraw what they say are combat troops by the end of this year in Iraq, and uh, it's widely believed also that there are talks going on to withdraw from occupied northeastern Syria. So I think that's the best way to see what's going on there. Austin is trying to calm down the anxieties of all of the collaborators in the region.